happy Thursday. It is already like 12 in the afternoon and I'm having an extremely lazy day because it was super rainy this morning and I just didn't want to get up and do anything. So I was just texting my mom and she actually went ahead and booked my flight home because I'm going on a vacation with my family at the end of July just at a nearby town um, in Florida. And it'll be fun. It'll be the first time all my siblings and I have been together in a little while. Um, so yes, I was just in Florida, but I'm going back just for a couple weeks. And all my friends here are like, are you actually going to come back this time? And I'm like, yes, I'm going to come back. So on the agenda today, I should read something. I'm wanting to get either a walk-in or some yoga done, but I forgot to bring my yoga mat back. So I think I might go to TJ Maxx and buy one because I feel like they have the best quality for the best prices. And I don't want to even wait for Amazon to deliver it. Quick in and out for the mat. Didn't let myself look around because try to be better about buying, not buying stuff that I don't need. I didn't know it was gonna have this pattern on it, but I'm not mad about it, it's kinda cute. And it's a really good thickness, and I don't think it's gonna slide around. Okay, a little later now, finished yoga and did some journaling. I actually have an Instagram page um, that I found from Abby Aslan, who I love on YouTube and Instagram and stuff. And I can put the name of the page that she recommended on screen here, but basically I just did this prompt for Strong Mind. I talked about on a scale of one to 10, what's my anxiety level right now? Um, write down the things that are currently making me feel anxious. How are these things making me feel physically and mentally, which is really important to me. And then looking um, at all the things that you wrote down, I want you to write down a conclusion for each of them. There's usually a conclusion for everything. So after I did yoga, I was feeling like really calm. And when I did that journaling exercise, I was like, let me think about my anxiety on a scale one to 10. And I put that it was only at a 2.5, which is like shocking for me because I'm a really naturally anxious person. Um, but that was really great. So I modified the journal prompt a little bit and I made a list of things that I feel secure in as well, which felt a little different to me than like gratitude. Sometimes gratitude can feel a little forced to me. So by saying I feel secure and safe in this rather than just grateful for um, was a really nice way to think about some things that are helping me to not feel so anxious. And then the conclusion that I came to for each of those was really all the things that I'm anxious about. I'm feeling anxious about them because I want to make sure that I'm safe um, in all senses of the word. Of course, like my reading list is making me feel anxious. I'm anxious about the fact that I don't have as much motivation as I feel like I should. And if I were to play those anxieties out like over long term, like what's like the main thing I'm anxious for? I'm anxious that I'm not good enough. I'm anxious that I can't pass this exam. I'm anxious that I won't finish a PhD. Anxious that I won't get a job. And why do I want a job? Because I want to be successful, because I want to make money and have a family and provide for all those things. And those are ways that it keeps me safe. So when it comes down to it, my anxieties are here for a reason and they're keeping me safe. And the things that I'm feeling secure in are a lot of just like basic necessities. I feel secure in my physical health. I feel secure in my financial status, secure in my home, secure that I'm loved, secure that I have hobbies. Um, so the conclusion that I drew from that was really that I have all that I need. So I'm feeling good in a good mental space today. When I was at TJ Maxx picking up the yoga mat, my friend Laura came over and dropped off this book, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I've seen a lot of people talk about and I'm really excited to get to reading it because yesterday I just finished The Midnight Library. Um, it was a slow start for sure. Like, I don't know. I, I felt like I've seen so many people talk about it, so I thought I was going to get into it right away. But I didn't like start like really turning the pages until honestly like two thirds of the way through. Um, it was fine in the beginning. I ended up rating it four out of five on Goodreads, but I don't know. I'd probably give it a 3.5 if that was an option. It was just, it was fine. Um, a little predictable. I wanted a little more detail in each of like the chapters and each of like the stories. If you read it, you'll know what I mean by that. Um, and I almost would prefer this as like a movie rather than a book. I think that's just because I wasn't getting enough detail to fully visualize what was going on, as my roommate would say, enough world building. So 3.5 on that, but I've heard fantastic things about this, so have really high hopes. Just made a second cup of coffee because it's still really gloomy outside and I need something to try and get me motivated to do work because I'm still watching Below Deck. All right, I just published my vlog from last week. 
And it's only a Thursday, so I had that ready early. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out already. It's giving you sort of some info about Bloomington and it's me settling back into my apartment. Still watching Below Deck, it's an ad right now. Um, I'll get started on stuff eventually. <music> free fee picks but Megan did talk smack about the shoe section and then I found these boys and they're Which so I like. cute so cute comment down below <laughs> I feel like Target has been slacking <laughs> oh they absolutely have like I had these my junior year of college Seatbelt for your feet. What are those? What are those? <laughs> it's horrible. So bad. And they have so many of them. Oh my goodness. Also, are these in? Like, we can't tell. They are. Dang. Man. Oh my gosh, these are still a thing? Yeah, the clothes are bad. They still have sweaters out here. <laughs> and it's July. Here's the Target haul. I got this pillow because this is gonna be the colors that I want in my new room, especially like this rust color and like the light pink and like then a cream or a white. I'm just gonna get like plain white comforter. I bought these dish towels because I think that they're just so cute. I love this little peach pattern. And it's time for some new ones. Um, bought some spaghetti sauce because I had this last time and I really liked this basil, tomato basil pasta sauce. And then this was super cheap. It was only like $3 and it comes with a little fork and it's like separated to like bring lunch in when I go to campus or something. Um, and then I bought two pairs of shoes. Megan's roasting me because I said I was better about not buying stuff I don't need, but... I know that these are like, you know, a little chunky, but I think that with the right outfit, they could be so cute and they're actually really comfortable. And then I've been looking for heels like this forever and I think that they're so cute. <laughs> a little crispy on the pizza today, but I think it's gonna be delish. It's hard to find the balance. Megan's we also don't have proper tools. Yeah, these are my knives from junior year of college when I had a kitchen for the first time. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we could maybe maybe spend a little more money. <laughs> uh, upgrade for sure. Okay, just got out of the shower. If you couldn't tell by my wet hair, it is already 10, 15 p.m. Days just get away from you here. Um, my sister jinxed me because she told me my skin was looking clear and now I'm getting a pimple here and here. Um, and I still haven't read today and I really, really want to read at least one article, hopefully two. So I'm going to put my phone to the side and power through some things. Okay, it is now 1140. I finished reading one article and then the other article that I wanted to read, I realized I can only find it in a hard copy because it's from an edited collection. So I put a request on the book in the library and I will probably be able to get it sometime next week. Um, but there looks like there's other stuff in the edited collection too. So I am going like off my list at this point because uh, I just feel like I made a horrible list and obviously my professors approved it so it was fine i put a little thought into making the list there was a lot on my vlogs on my youtube channel i made a lot of different vlogs about how stressed i was about getting the list just right and now i'm like i'm not happy with this so good morning happy friday I am getting my day started with a Zoom meeting with the rest of the committee for the rhetoric student chapter at my, at my school and my program. 
which I am a co-chair for and we're going to get together via Zoom to try to plan some type of social event. That meeting is done we set um some next steps we're gonna look into some availability of some places and i created like a poll to send to the rest of the grad students to see like what is everyone's preferred date and i have some fun plans tonight i am going to a county fair and there's like a rodeo there i have no idea what to expect truly um, I grew up going to like the fair every year, but it was like a Miami fair and I think this is going to be like a Midwest fair. So the instructions I was given were have low expectations, wear closed toed shoes, and bring cash. So I can do all three of those things. Um, it's my friend's birthday tonight and this is what she wanted to do. It's her birthday today, but this is what she wanted to do tonight. Um, the weather is also fantastic right now, so I feel like if I don't get outside and do something, I'm going to regret it. Okay, getting ready to go to this fair, and I'm super stressed about an outfit. I still have to do my hair. Um, I have these jeans, which I might wear, but they're just a little tight. I honestly had them sitting in my closet. In Indiana the whole time I was in Florida. They're just like tight in the thighs and I feel like they might get uncomfortable when I sit down. Um, and I think I'm gonna wear these sneakers. Okay, big change. Here's what we ended up going with. I might get cold, but I have this that I can take off if it ends up being hotter. And these sneakers are the comfiest ones. They're white, so if they get dirty, I'll just throw them in the wash. Got the layered necklace, the sort of brushed out waves. And here's the final fit. Hey. <laughs> Has to be a star. That's the rodeo vlog. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. Did you see the raw lemon, dude? You? That's a whole fruit. Actually. It's also like half a pound. Of <laughs> almost 11 30 p.m just came back from the fair i feel so tired it was very fun but like very overwhelming that's like the most of like the biggest amount of people i've been with in a long time <laughs> on our way to the farmer's market to spend this saturday morning um and then i think we're gonna get some breakfast there i brought these cute little bags that I ordered on Amazon to fit the aesthetic. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get some farmer's market coffee, maybe some flowers, and I don't know, anything that you're hoping or dreaming for? I want maybe some crepes. Oh yes, yes. I want, yeah, I'm excited for some breakfast food. Maybe they'll have some good produce. I could feel it in my veins Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right and Make up for what I
over to Brilliant Coffee. I've never been there before. I just got a caramel macchiato with regular whole milk. It is so strong. I would definitely go back because the vibes in the place are really cute and I would love to do work there sometimes and you don't have to parallel park. Um, but the, it's really, really strong. And if you like super sweet drinks, this is like a caramel macchiato, so you'd think it'd be sweet, but I would like ask for like extra cream or something, honestly. And I got these flowers and Megan did a little photo shoot of me. <laughs> I just feel like the party never stops because Megan and I just took a nap. I My nap was unintentional. And now we're getting ready to go eat some dinner really quickly at this all vegan restaurant, which I'm really excited to try. It's called The Allery. And then we are going to head over to our friend's sort of going away party because she's moving to Chicago. And that's gonna be the first time I've seen a lot of people again so i'm feeling like a little bit anxious about i don't know having to see all these people again that i haven't seen in like two years but i'm rallying okay so here's the outfit i went with just this black sort of scrunchy dress it's super comfy that made it pretty casual by just putting on these sneakers um i did throw on some makeup but pretty light my hair is very dirty lots of dry shampoo in that Hi vlog. We're gonna be twinning with our sneakers, just mine are pink and yours are all white, the classic. The classic. <laughs> How do you feel about this party? Um, I don't know vlog. <laughs> I feel ready. I took a nap, so that was good. And I think it'll be fun. It was fun last time I was over there, so. That's all I got for you vlog. She has more friends than I do. Um, okay, tell me if it's just me or does Megan's mirror really just like stretch you out in weird <laughs> ways? I feel like I'm just such weird proportions in this video or this mirror. Hello. I haven't noticed it. Can I have a tall salted caramel cold brew? Cold brew with cold foam. With, sure. with cold foam, please. Comes with it. Oh. Okay. Um, and then just a tall pink drink. Got it. And that's it. That'll be $8.96. Thank you. I feel like my mom, <laughs> anytime we go to Starbucks with my mom, we have to order for her. And with with your order, I was just like... Looking at me for every word. <laughs> and it's like I knew it, but I second guessed it all, you know? <laughs> well, I, I did you dirty by saying cold foam and he said, comes with it. Like, geez. A little, a little sad. He asked little for sad. your name. They do that in yeah. the drive-thru. Never heard that. Not in the way he did, though. Salted caramel cold brew, pink drink, glasses. Start of a good afternoon. <laughs> it's like three o'clock. Wanna get high on you, caught by surprise by you. Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should. I wanna get high on like we always end up at Culver's. <laughs> We're on one. We just needed some cheese curds and it was on the way home and I was like, if you pulled in, I wouldn't be mad. So here we are. This car's taking a while though. I can never say no to some curds. The motto for the school year is say yes to everything. Live beyond your means. Mm -hmm. Do what feels right. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm approaching my reading list at least, doing what feels right. Sarah's been saying that so much recently. <laughs> She'll be like, it just feels right. It does. It just feels right. Yes, go we with love the that embodiment. We, we love, love it. That. Trust the gut. <laughs> Hi, can I just have a large order of cheese curds? I'll grab one off for you. And then just a side of ranch, please. All right, does that complete your order today? Yes. Me six seventy nine. We'll see you at the window. Thank you. My pleasure. So it was in it was a going away party slash estate sale and they gave us just whatever they didn't give us. They had like a table set out with random stuff that they wanted people to take, bid on, but everyone just took it for free. And Megan claimed this basketball and seventy nine did it. I was a little shook because I was like, why does she want a basketball? Thank you. But she is determined to play and she was showing us up with the dribbling between the legs, being a complete baller. I said every, I had one of those moments and I said, everybody look at me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You said no one's looking at me, show off. Guys, we're high on life. <laughs> oh, we're ready. Shot girl summer, yes 
She's still sipping on the pink drink and I finished my coffee like an hour ago. Is it so cold? No. Ew. It's still good though. <laughs> okay, I ate like half the bag on the dry palm of the cheese curds. Not gonna do a full grocery haul because I just did one in the last vlog, but here's everything we got. Some more meals for the week. We also went to Sam's Club and I got this more snack mix to try, but it's like a little melty because it's out in the car when we went to Kroger. Lots of produce, veggies, fruits. Um, we played out the meals we're making again for the week. And that's what we have. Okay, I'm trying this five ingredient bread that I saw on TikTok, but it's from Half Baked Harvest, which people trust. It's flour, a beer. We went to Kroger and bought a single beer. Kosher salt, honey, and baking soda, and then um, butter. So we'll see how it comes out. Okay, if this comes out good, this will have been like the easiest recipe ever. You just slice up some butter on top of those ingredients and now I'm gonna pop it in the oven for an hour. That is all butter sizzling, but it looks and smells so good. A how review? Yes, a review. 10 out of 10, delicious. Delicious for how easy it was. If a lot of work went into this, I'd be like, okay, that was a lot. But for how easy it is compared to how it tastes, very good ratio. Agreed. Very yummy. All right, back for another meal with some dinner. We are meal prepping the veggie pitas again because we know now that they have to sit overnight and they were very good last time. And we made this sort of lemon, butter, garlic pasta. It just has squash, zucchini, not cucumber, um, spinach, some basil, and cherry tomatoes. I got, what did I get? Peach blackberry, and it is so good. And she got, what was it? Almond banana chocolate. Yes, I knew there was a lot in there. That's good. But they let you sample, and there was a sesame flavor, and it was disgusting. I can't even explain what it tasted like. It tasted like ground up sesame seeds, honestly. It was like, it was, it was savory. It was, it was like gray. I don't yeah, know. It was weird. It was weird. It was weird. <laughs> Alrighty, it's a bit later now, almost 10 p.m. I think I'm in bed for the night, honestly. This weekend was an extremely social weekend. I feel like I saw multiple people multiple times um, a day, which was a lot of social interaction for me, but it was great. Um, but now I'm like ready to get back in the swing of things. So I have a cup of peppermint tea and I'm gonna read some more of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. About like, I don't know, between 80 and 100 pages in so far and so far so good. It's a very quick, easy read, but I'm very, very intrigued already by the plot and the characters are pretty interesting. Hello, happy Tuesday. I just got out of the shower, hence the very wet hair. Threw on some quick makeup. I feel like my skin has not been the best lately and it's making me a little self-conscious. I feel like I've been a little self-conscious, I don't know, somewhat recently about appearance, but ebbs and flows, I feel like everyone can relate to this on some level. Anyway, I'm going to work in the Writing Center in 30 minutes on Zoom, of course. I have two appointments set up, but some more might come in because I'm scheduled to work till 5 p.m. I think I'm going to make a cup of coffee because I had breakfast, but I didn't drink any coffee. Um, and I'm feeling a little like, like I need coffee. And I also want to read some today because I was planning on reading some yesterday, but it was like the 5th of July and since the 4th of July was a Sunday, a lot of businesses um, and places in general gave the Monday off. Like for example, I'm supposed to work in the writing center on Mondays and the writing center was closed yesterday to like observe the holiday, even though it was technically Sunday. So I don't know, felt sort of right to not do any work yesterday, but today I'm feeling like I need to get back in the group of things. So I'm gonna do some reading. 
um, after I work at the writing center. This is my favorite way to make my iced coffee these days. Just put some of this Ghirardelli caramel ice in the cup. And then I put some 2% milk, but I'm sure you could do oat milk, whatever milk works for you. Probably just like there. And then I also do some of this silk sweet and creamy almond milk creamer in addition to the milk, just like a splash of it. And then I brew one of the single Nespresso pods from the Starbucks brand. I do like the dark roast, but I've been wanting to try blonde roast, it's just always sold out. And pour that right on top. And it just sits on top and it's so pretty. It's like a little at home caramel macchiato. Okay, so an update on some things. Um, I finished with the writing center for today. No one signed up for the rest of the day and like it's past time for them to be able to. My first person was a no-show and the second person asked me so many questions that I just like was unable to answer and I felt so incompetent. Basically, she had so many questions about like how to cite like footnotes in Chicago style and like as an English major and English PhD student, I like exclusively work in MLA. Maybe for conference proposals, I use APA and like that is it. And we're not like required to know all like the ins and outs of styles as like writing tutors, at least at IU. Um, we sort of just like teach them how to find resources, namely through Purdue Owl. But I was like sharing my screen and we were looking at Purdue Owl together and I was just like, I cannot find the answers to your questions. They were so specific. Like how do you cite an image in this specific context? And what's the difference between footnotes and bibliog bibliographic citations? So it was just like 40 minutes of me. Like she was very nice, but I was like, I just, I don't know, I'm sorry. Also an update about my reading. I Snapchatted my roommate. Megan today and I was like should I change my Twitter bio to like Peter Elbow Stan account because I can't believe that I didn't read any Peter Elbow I mean I guess I can believe it but I didn't read any Peter Elbow until reading for my reading list and like diving in to his book writing without teachers and diving into like the criticisms that it received and like his responses to those criticisms I'm just like this man got it right in like 1970. Basically, he is talking, so people have labeled him expressivist and people have labeled him hyper-concerned with personal writing, but he himself has never labeled himself an expressivist. He has never labeled himself hyper-concerned with personal writing. He just wants students to realize that writing is a wonderful resource and writing doesn't have to be something that you hate. Um, so I just read an article from him that is really recent from 2015. I didn't know that this man was still like getting after it, but he was arguing that the reason people think that he's so concerned with personal writing is because the type of thinking that he's sort of using in his piece is personal thinking. It's thinking that relies on hunches and intuition and emotions and not exclusively like objective systems of logic which is very much like what I vibe with. So big Peter Elbow stan over here. I'm going to continue reading an edited collection that is called Critical Expressivism, um, which is reclaiming expressivist traditions, which is what I am deep, deep, deep into with this reading list. And I'm really enjoying it. So that's good. None of that stuff was on my original reading list and I'm okay with it. All right, a little later now, 4.45, I made myself some passion tea lemonade. Bought one of those tumblers of the pre-made Tazo passion tea and then a Simply Lemonade. And it tastes very similar to Starbucks. And I feel like I got both those tumblers for the price of like one venti passion tea lemonade. So I will be doing this more. Um, I have therapy tonight at six. So I have like an hour and 15 minutes before then. So I think I am going to journal for a little bit because I have a lot on my mind um, and I feel like therapy is most effective when I go into it with like a set list of things I sort of want to talk about um, and might read some. I only read one article for school today so hopefully therapy is like okay and I can read another article or two 
when I'm done after dinner. Um, but yeah, I will be reading more of Evelyn Hugo. Okay, a lot later now. It's almost midnight. Um, I ate dinner pretty late and then Megan and I watched yesterday's episode of The Bachelor, which is about two hours, and we watched Below Deck Med, um, which we're watching on like a weekly basis. Really, really good so far if you are into like Bravo trash TV. But I was hoping to read another article or two, but I just don't think I would like get anything out of it because I'm pretty tired and therapy like was pretty exhausting, honestly. So I think I'm just gonna read more for fun or watch some Netflix and then get the day started tomorrow. Hello, happy Wednesday. It is already later in the afternoon. A little before two, I have a meeting for the research project that I'm part of at two. So I just put my hair back in a claw clip and threw on some mascara so I didn't feel so bad about wearing an old t-shirt. Um, but this morning I woke up, had a really, really lazy morning, was reading more of the Evelyn Hugo book, watched TikTok, but I did go to the gym and do 12, 3.30, but 12 was a little steep for me, so I was like 8, 3.30 today, um, and it is what it is, and I'm gonna zoom for this meeting and then hoping to dive back into some more reading because I only read one article yesterday. Okay, later now, like... No, your clock is wrong. 6.45. <laughs> I somehow took a nap today, even though I was not planning on it. I was reading an article, laying down in bed, and I was like, why does it just feel so hard to read this right now? And I just struggled through it, and then I just put some white noise on and napped for like an hour. And Megan apparently knocked on my door and had texted me asking if I was okay, but I was like <laughs> knocked out. And I'm not a napping gal, but I've napped three times since being back in Bloomington, which is crazy to me. But we are gonna go for a little pre-dinner walk um, at this new park, Switchyard Park, never been. Um, and it feels like 90 degrees outside, so that's fun. I'm looking out from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet oh. Well, we got back from our walk just in time Pouring out of nowhere Much later now Midnight exactly And I think I'm gonna end up the vlog I try to vlog every single day For the whole week and started last week thursday and it is wednesday night so that was a full week of my life here in bloomington thank you so much for watching this vlog um i am going to be moving out of my apartment next week already so i'm sure in the next video i'll be packing some things up and i do want to show you guys like an empty apartment tour because i think those are really fun to see um if there's anything that you are hoping to see from me here in bloomington please leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already and seriously thank you so much for watching um recording days in my life and weeks in my life and just like chatting with you guys whether it's on youtube instagram um is so so fun for me and yes i cannot thank you enough okay see you in the next one bye <laughs>